hello namaste dear friends how are you i hope you would be enjoying your holidays now uh, in this series today we are going to discuss one more family solanaceae it is one of the most important economically important family in the world and therefore as a part of our syllabus it is interesting to study this family morphologically the general characters its distribution the vegetative characters reproductive characters and all these characters uh, this particular family shows we will dis discuss if you talk about distribution of solanaceae which is commonly called as potato family usually it occurs in tropics subtropics uh, the few members are found in temperate zone also especially it occurs in the countries near to the tropic विश्व वृत्त के दोनों बाजू में जो एक ट्रॉपिकल एटमोसफियर होता है उस एटमोसफियर में बड़े पैमाने पे ये फैमिली के मेंबर्स पाए जाते हैं इट इज़ रिप्रेजेंटेड बाय नाइन्टी जनरा एंड अबाउट टू थाउजेंड स्पीसीज दे आर देर इन द फैमिली सोलनेसी अगर हम इंडिया की बात करेंगे तो इंडिया इज ऑल्सो हैविंग अबाउट ट्वेंटी वन जनरा ऑफ सोलनेसी एंड अबाउट सेवेंटी स्पीसीज आर देर सम ऑफ द इम्पॉर्टेंट मेम्बर्स as you know that potato solanum tuberosum solanum melongena that is brinjal lycopersicum esculentum that we call tomato so from this we can understand that this is a very important family this is the systematic position as it belongs to kingdom plantae division angiospermy class dicotyledon dicotyledony uh, because uh, you see that two cotyledons are there and all other characters are there सब क्लास पॉलीपेटाली पेटल्स आर फ्री सरीज बाय कार्पेलेटी ऑर्डर पॉलीमोनियल्स एंड अ फैमिली सोलेनेस इट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू अंडरस्टैंड सिस्टमेटिक पोजिशन ऑफ दिस पर्टिकुलर फैमिली ओके देन लेट वी गो फर्दर टॉकिंग अबाउट इंपॉर्टेंट प्लांट्स ऑफ दिस फैमिली फ्रॉम दिस यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड द इंपॉर्टेंस ऑफ दिस फैमिली ऑल्सो सोलेनम टिबेरिसम दैट वी कॉल्ड पोटैटो दैन मोस्ट स्टडीड प्लांट कॉल्ड द तुरा इनऑक्सिया द तुरा सोलेनम मेलंजना ब्रिंजल Cistrum nocturnum, night jasmine, Vithania somnifera, that what we call ashwagandha, which is a medicinally important plant, and Lycopersicum esculentum, that we call tomato. Now let me talk about its habit. Habit of the plants like Petunia and Vithania, they are herbs, and if we talk about other plants, they are shrubs. Being a dicotyledonous plant, the tap root system is said to be. more commonly present but it is highly branched the stem is said to be aerial erect upper part of the stem as you can see in this diagram of this datura green and therefore it is herbaceous and the lower part is woody it is highly branched particularly at tip every time two branches are there and therefore it is called dicotomously branched it is cylindrical it is solid it is pubescent having very thick hairs on it and it is green in color Uh, that is the characteristic feature of the stem now if we talk about the leaf uh leaf is said to be simple in the diagram you can see uh it is very simple leaf then alternate one leaf is present at each node each leaf is possessing a long stalk therefore petiolate the margin is entire then uh deeply lobed uh, it is a glabrous having no Here present on it, it's a unique costed reticulate venation, and having no stipule, extipulate. And if you talk about the inflorescence of this family, uh, it is axillary sign, or it is a solitary sign. The inflor, the flowers are arranged in a cymose type of arrangement. Then, the flower is very typical. Uh, you can see here that it produces from the axil between the leaf and stem. and uh, it is e bracteate having no bract having a short pedicel and therefore pedicellate uh, the flowers are very attractive they are larger uh, actinomorphic you can see the radial symmetry they are bisexual having androecium and gynoecium together the complete having all the floral whorls regular pentamerous hypogynous and usually white in color we are considering one example and accordingly we are describing this family if we talk about calyx there are five sepals they are green but all the sepals are adhere to each other and therefore gamosepalous sepals are fused 
uh, that uh, estimation is evaluate uh, the leaf uh, the the most important characteristic which are in this family is the calyx is persistent uh, it appears for the longer period of time as you can see in case of brinjal and in case of tomato the sepals are still there along with the fruit they do not shed that we called as persistent calyx in the figure you can see corolla the petals are five they are greenish white in color and here as it is belonging to the gamopetali you can understand the petals are fused and therefore corolla is said to be gamopetalous it is plicate means folded like fan estivation is twisted margin of one petal is inner and other is outer so inner and outer arrangement is there then funnel shape white mouth and 10 lobes are there in corolla you can see easily if we talk about androsium you can see five stamens but they are adhere to petals and therefore the condition is called epipetalous uh, in the middle of the corona they are present alternate way you can see in the diagram if we talk about their anthers uh, they are diethicus bilobed anther and they are attached to the tip at the base of filament and therefore basific filament is comparatively very long and uh, the opening or their exposition of the anthers is towards inside and therefore it is said to be intros and uh, when they ruptures and shade the pollen grains their dehiscence is said to be longitudinal if we talk about gynosium the ore is said to be superior means it is present on the conical dome shaped thalamus and all other floral walls are below the below to the ovary and therefore it is said to be superior ovary it is bicarpillary syncarpus ovary two carpels but they are fused and therefore in the transverse section you can see ovary appears biloculars uh, another important feature of this family is that carpels are obliquely placed they are oblique they are not straight and ovules are swollen and shows exile placentation that means ovules are produced from the axis if we talk about the style it's a simple long filiform and stigma is two lobed the fruits are very catchy they are spinous and capsules and opening by four apical valves they shows persistent calyx as i told you this is an important family feature that the calyx uh, you can see uh, below the fruit green color calyx is still there the fruit is formed in most of the cases actually the calyx fall down uh, by the time the fruits are formed but here this family shows persistent calyx is one of the most important character in case of this family uh, you can see the seeds of this the tura they are endospermous they are having endosperms in them if we talk about floral formula you can see uh, bracteate ebracteolate then that sign indicates that it's actinomorphic the flowers are bisexual calyx shows five sepal they are gamosepalous fused corolla shows five petals they are fused gamopetalous condition androsium shows five stamens and adnet to the corolla and therefore epipetalous gynosium bicarpillary two carpels you can see and then there is a bracket therefore it shows syncarpus and underline below the g that indicates superior ori so this is the floral formula uh, below that you can observe the floral diagram where you can clear cut see the mother axis and then outermost whorl of calyx five calyx they are they are fused with each other gamosepalous condition then uh, then uh, corolla it is uh, twisted estivation in calyx you can see the valvate estivation then five stamens added to the corolla therefore epipetalous condition ori in the center says to be bicarpellar in carpus with the exile placentation so this is a very important aspect we have seen uh, the examples of uh, that classification here example of classification of uh, the tura inoxia the tura inoxia also belonging to the family solenaceae with the example of the tura we have explained this family now economical importance of the sol uh, solenaceae if you watch it you will come to know that how important this family is the members of this family like solanum tuberosum that we call potato as you know that form the major part of the food throughout the world then solanum melongena that we call brinjal bengan 
लाइकोपर्सिकम एस्कुलेंटम टोमेटो कैप्सिकम हरी मिर्च जिसको हम कहते हैं या मिर्च जिसको हम कहते हैं दे आर यूज एज अ वेजिटेबल देन फिजालिस पेरुवियाना प्रोड्यूस एडिबल बेरीज इफ यू टॉक अबाउट द मेडिसिनल इंपॉर्टेंस ऑफ दिस फैमिली एट्रोपा बेलाडोना दैट कंटेंस एल्केलॉइड एट्रोपिन दिस इज यूज एज अ बेलाडोना प्लास्टर एट्रोपिन इज ऑल्सो यूज इन आई टेस्टिंग देन निकोटीना टबैकम दैट वी कॉल टबैको दैट इल्स निकोटीन हाइवोस्कैमस नाइगर सोलैनम नाइग्रम दत्तूरा विथानिया सोमनी फेरा दैट वी कॉल अश्वगुंदा दे आर ऑल्सो यूज मेडिसनरी टोबैको ही ऑप्टेन फ्रॉम द लूज ऑफ निकोटीना टैबैकम आर वेरियसली यूज इन सिगार्स बीडी चिविंग दर्दा दर फोर दे आर द नार्कोटिक्स एंड देर आर सर्टन प्लांट्स लाइक पेटूनिया सिस्ट्रम लाइसियम सालपेग्लॉसिस दे आर कल्टिवेट इन द गार्डन एज एन ऑर्नामेंटल प्लांट देन यू कैन ऑल्सो सी द मेडिसिनल यूजेस ऑफ दिस पर्टिकुलर फैमिली ऑफकोर्स प्लांट्स ऑफ दिस फैमिली द बेस्ट ऑफ रोस्टेड लीव्स इज अप्लाइड ओवर द एरिया टू रिलीव द पेन देन दिस दतूरा इज यूज एज हर्बल मेडिसिन स्पेशल इन केस ऑफ आयुर्वेदा फॉर अस्थमा ब्रोंकाइटिस देन दिस इज ऑल्सो यूज एज ए मेडिसिन फॉर स्कैबीज पाइल्स अल्सर्स इन सम स्किन डिसीजेस ऑल्सो दे आर सीन एंड दीज आर द कॉमन प्लांट्स ऑफ फैमिली सिस्टम नॉक्टोनम दैट विड वॉट वी कॉल रात की रानी विच प्रोड्यूस इज वेरी ब्यूटिफुल एंड स्वीट स्मेल इमिटिंग फ्लावर्स देन पेटोनिया लाइकोपर्सिकम एस्कोलेंटम दैट प्रोड्यूस द पल्पी फ्रूट दैट मीन टोमैटो एंड सोलैनम नाइगरम विथ हनिया सोमने फेरा इफ यू टॉक अबाउट द प्रिमेटिव कैरेक्टर्स ऑफ दिस फैमिली द प्लांट्स आर श्रब्स then leaves are simple in florist and solitary axillary cyme the flowers are actinomorphic pollination by insects many ovules are present within the locules stamens are that dithicus and seeds are endospermic uh, if we see the tendency of this plant which has shown advanced character most of the plants are herbaceous and many are annuals leaves are extipulate calyx and corolla are gamosepalous stamens are epipetalous reduction in the number of carpels and ganusham is seen carpus so these are advanced character of this particular family with this i conclude friends try to understand a major question is asked in this on this particular family and therefore you should prepare this particular family uh, and practice it again and again so with this i conclude if you like this video you please click to the like button you please share this video to your student friends who are preparing for their examination and we also subscribe my youtube channel where you will get constantly the videos of your interest you can also suggest me the topics where i can prepare very important videos and the notes i will feed on that uh, for you so that during this vacation during this days you can prepare for yourself during exam and can keep up with this i conclude thank you very much goodbye